Welcome to Life on Tap, episode 66, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. To all you followers out there, great to have you aboard. If you're new, welcome. If you're still aboard, thanks for staying subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, today, a uh, bit of a long day for me. There's a lot of walking, a lot of uh, errands, a lot of crazy work. So I definitely feel like I need to un unwind a little bit. Now, Cheryl may have, you know, been hidden up her lovely late harvest Riesling. I, on the other hand, I'm going to go for a brew tonight. Um, it's a brew I've had before, but I I feel like I needed to review it just because I usually enjoy it so, so much. And that is the one, the only Racer 5 from Beer Republic. Um, it's, uh, it's great that I can get it routinely now, and in some places even on tap, which is very exciting. But uh, it's a, an awesome go-to beer. Especially if you want to introduce someone to, you know, kind of craft beer. And, you know, they, may, they might not be ready for the, the, the hop monsters and whatnot. Um, you can see here a nice kind of much lighter amber color. Not, a little lighter than amber, even actually more golden even. Copper. Um, not a whole lot of head, not a lot of whole lot of head on this one. A little bit of lace in the glass. You, you got to love the hop flavor on the, the hop smell on this basically it's beautifully layered here you can you definitely get the citrus you now from and uh, citrus from this um various different layers of that i'd say almost um definitely like, a, like lemon lemon maybe almost orangish tangerinist grapefruit in that vicinity a little a hint of a hint of like pine saw on that it's pretty pretty wild um, it's listed at 7% ABV and IBUs are a little over 75. They got uh, Chinook, Cascade, Columbus, and Centennial all amongst my favorite choices. Basically, this is um, usually a consistent winner at a lot of different of the uh, beer shows and uh, beer ceremonies. So, um, I actually believe it did actually win its category of strong pale ale at the GABF this past year, I if I remember correctly. Uh, let's give this thing a shot. Oh, what I really love about this is just that is the balance on this. I mean, it's crisp, it's smooth. You do get some hop action. You do get you definitely feel the crystal malt working on you as well. Um, but it's like you know, it's and it may be you know hopped. Up a lot for those malt maniacs, like I mentioned in the previous episode. But um, I just love this. I, I mean, this this stuff is like, for me, it's this is mega drinkable. Pretty much wherever you can get this, get it, try it. If you don't like it, let me know. But I mean, um, I know very, I know, I'm I'm gonna you know rip through the six pack probably. You know, it's nice, but I will get through it momentarily. But uh, other things going on with me, um, I've actually accepted. I actually got two offers of internships, but I did accept one of them, uh, the one I mentioned last episode. So we'll be going forward with that. I'm very excited. Uh, one less thing to worry about now. I can kind of go back to focusing on my academics, uh, and uh, that's gonna be very exciting. But um, kind of, I also got um, got, got some big restaurant plans coming up. We actually want a gift certificate to. Uh, Shoshone Harriet, and that's going to be the first Saturday of break right before Passover starts. So, really pumped up about that experience. Me, I hear the food is spectacular. Uh, the wine list is great as well, from what I hear. Um, going to look forward to that. Hopefully, Cheryl and I will get a chance to record our thoughts from that uh, momentar uh, momentarily afterwards. And in the meantime, we might, I might come at you. We're going out tomorrow night uh, using with some of our diner deck cards. Uh, if you don't know what the diner deck is, I'll look it up in the show notes uh, right here as well. Pick up these diner deck cards. I mean, they're it's maybe ten, you know, ten dollars off, you know, a meal, whatever the case is. But honestly, some of these restaurants, if you haven't been to them in here, they got restaurant, they got cards for Manhattan, for Lower Manhattan, for Brooklyn, you know, they all over the place. So I really, you know, if you you're hesitant about you know, going out and spending money just for a new place because it's there, this get kind of gives you a, a kind of a good array of restaurants to choose from and also gives you some money off so you don't feel as guilty about going out instead of staying in or cooking or whatnot. Um, oh, but cooking. Had a wonderful time tonight. Um, Cheryl and I um, 
use some of the leftovers we salvaged from the power outage over in Long Island at the in-laws house um, you know to make oh, make up some ravioli wonton crepe block kind of things tonight and they're honestly really tasty I was you know, shocked you know we, we took you know we got some chicken we had some spinach we had some leeks we had you know uh, an array of cheeses and whatnot it was, it was you know really amazing the kind of stuff we cooked up and so uh, you know this is this is why you know it's nice to have a nice kind of lazy um, lazier evening afternoon when you can so and also to have a brew if you want to reach us out there on the web it's www.lifeontap.net you can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net you can reach me out there on the twitterverse and the skypeverse i am new type 2001 and of course i'm on facebook as well facebook.com slash new type 2001 uh and remember you know this weekend Hang out with your friends, hang out with your family, you know, uh, drink up a few together. And remember, like to tap, drink up till it's dry. <laughs>